Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. If you haven't seen me very much, I think last week or at all, maybe last week, but I was busy doing a lot of stuff at home, getting a lot of stuff organized. I went thrifting a couple of times. That was fun. But one day that I went with Caesar all morning, I didn't come out with one thing. There were some really big items that if they weren't damaged, it would have been amazing, like $1,800 items, but they were broken or it was broken. And then after that, I really didn't find anything that was like, ooh, or oh, that's worth something. I kept a lot of money in my pocket, which is good because in October, we are going to Seattle for my birthday. We're gonna be out there for about five days and then we'll be there for five days. I wanna show you something. I've talked about these Mara mugs before. I picked this up yesterday. I ended up heading out to go get some some lotto tickets, folks. The Mega Million is up to $800 million. The numbers came out last night. I haven't checked them yet. And look at that. I wanted to show you the mug before it. $800 million. Holy bajolis. That is a crazy amount. After fees and taxes, it would be around $400 million. And that is like still a crazy amount of money. Um, a lot of people always complain, well, what about taxes? What about this? <sighs> Even if we came out with a million dollars, that would be life changing just about. And I say just about because there are things that we owe, like the house, we gotta finish paying off uh, the air conditioning unit. units. We got two of them. My parents' houses, if they're not paid off. My sister's house, if her and her husband's place isn't paid off. I know my brother's places are paid off, but there's all this little other stuff that adds up quick. <laughs> like this little guy over here, he always needs the best of best of food, right boy? And he is hungry. He woke up late this morning, so we're gonna get some stuff done. And then after that, I am gonna finish taking photos of these items that I took from the bins. Went out to the bins, came out some cool stuff, and I need to finish listing them, so I'll be doing that here soon after I feed him and wash some dishes. Somewhere in between that, I have an order to pack up. I also wanna test out my new cup of Mara. It's the first time I've seen Mara mugs have any type of blue on there. This is like a turquoise blue. And usually I see like cats and coyotes like I showed you in my other, other one. And this one, when I seen the eagle, I was like, ooh, and it's blue, it has blue on it. I want that, how much is that? I ended up paying around $5 for it. That is score, I think it goes for around $20. I thought it was the same t-shirt that I got a return on. It is a different t-shirt, but one you should look out for. Anything that stands out to me like skulls like this, I always look at the tag. It's hard to see, but it's by Philippe Plain. This also stood out to me. So this one ended up selling. The person ended up returning it, saying it smelled and blah, blah, blah. Got it back. It doesn't smell. Here's, this, here's the one that actually sold. Not the return, but also same tag. Doesn't have that emblem on the back. Large, big skull. This Philippe Plain airplane skull. Blue men's XL t-shirt. Home black label. This one sold for $75. And it is going to Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, I've been out to Lafayette, out in, I would say 99 to 2000, when I was stationed there in Fort, Fort Polk, Louisiana. I love Louisiana, place is pretty awesome. Great, great food. That's my kind of place. I am packing it up, clear sleeve, poly bag. Not bad, folks, I, I paid this and with that shirt, along with a couple of other items for $20. And I haven't been back to that place. Caesar actually showed me that place. Caesar knows a lot about places to go to. Alrighty then. I also have two packages right here, folks. I got two packages. That is from some viewer mail, some fa fan mail? Is that what you say? Fan mail. I believe I'm gonna need my black light on one of them. And then the other one, I have no idea. I'll tell you more about it here after I finish washing dishes except already left okay i gotta wash dishes and after that um i'll see what order we're gonna do because carlos gonna be ready to go to the gym probably when i'm done with this hopefully starting off the week good it's monday today 75 dollars sale cha-ching all right we're back back at the big gym i like this place they have a lot more machines just about everything's new and everything i want without having to wait too long. All right, inside one of the rooms, I really need a nice massage. And I think I'm gonna go with one of these over here. I think this one's cool. Nice little room to chill out with. I'm gonna take off my shoes. That way I could get my cankles some massages. And then, then I'll work out, maybe. Oh. 
is in the cool. He's he's in the cool kitchen. What you doing in the kitchen? Sleeping? I can see your face. <laughs> he's what's stretching what's out of his face? sleep. Yeah, you're sleeping. That's all you do. Sleep. That's all you do is sleep. We're gonna walk you today to the evening, okay? So you better get ready for a mile walk. All right. Tip, are you ready to check these lotto tickets? Think there's a winner in here? Hmm? No? Well, we're gonna see anyways. Nothing so far, but what I ended up doing was paying for three weeks out, or at least the Mega Million is up to the 27th. I have six drawings prepaid for on this, for the Mega Million, and then the Powerball is for 10 draws and that's up till the September 30th. So nothing this time, but we'll check again when new numbers come out. It's getting a little loud in the kitchen. So I figured we'll come over here. So I've noticed my upper body just slimming down. Look at that, look at that. My arms are coming along. My shoulders are coming along. I have not been working on my belly. I'll start that next week. You're playing with your croissant? He was over it. After after about a day and a half, he was over the candy corn toy. This, this girl over here has been working out a little bit too much. Look at this. Snapped it. Just broke it in half like, like it was nothing. Preheat the oven to 400. Preheat oven to 400. Which one? The flat one. The magic here. Wow. These are nice and fluffy. Ooh. Need some little butter on there. A little butter for the heart. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Drizzly, drizzly. You need a fork? Carla ended up making lobster mm -hmm. pasta, Alfredo it looks like, with the lobster from the restaurant. We had all that lobster left over. Did you try it yet? Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Uno? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Creamy. Creamy? Oh yeah, creamy. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of creamy I like. Mm, lobster? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> For the biscuit. Ooh, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Biscuit's good, but it's missing a little salt. Yeah. You didn't add salt to the the butter. You can still just sprinkle. Let me just yeah. Watching some casino slot machines. And I was like, I need coffee. I haven't had coffee in a few days. Carlos was saying when we go to Idaho, it's going to be hard not having coffee for her. So we do love our Java Hut, the bow, white bowl of soul. That's the best. Mm 
Love this mug. Carla was like, let me have a little taste of that. And I was like, mm-hmm. I knew you wanted some. And as she grabbed it to lift it, she was like, this is a big ass mug. Mara mugs are pretty heavy. So if you're pretty sensitive about weight and stuff, I would say the beauty of this is worth it. It's not like you're gonna keep holding the mug up like I am right now. And it's just beautiful art. It's nice to have a change in mugs and things that you surround yourself with that you're happy and you're like, oh, that's me, that's beautiful, that's awesome, that's uplifting. Mm. Uh -uh. Ah, cheers to you all. I have some hats to list, Aerosmith hat. I've already cleaned all of these. This is from 2002 from one of their Oh Yeah tours. Has the writing right on the back, right there. Then we have this Anaheim Angels. This is another vintage hat, should go for around 25 bucks. Baltimore Orioles. This one is by Nissan. Which one was this one? I think, oh no, Twins Enterprise. Really, really good condition. Great shape, great embroidery. I don't like NASA stuff. I see them at Ross all the time, but this is one that I didn't pay very much for. Uh, Kennedy Space Center, 50th anniversary. That's what got my attention. Then I looked on the inside and it showed field grade. And I thought, that seems pretty new, like new to me. Um, and then Skylab, I looked these up and they go for around $20. And I just said, sure, why not? Especially when it comes to Salvation Army Benz. Vintage, look at this. Willie Nelson, Willie family on the road again. And you want to look out for that right there, Frank's Bros. Then more vintage Houston Astros. Got the logo on there on the H. Usually you don't see the H with the star. And this is brand new with tags. Another Twins Enterprise right here, official license. And then another one right here, Los Angeles Rams. I do very well with these. This one, now this one is a good one to look out for. Sports specialties. Look out for sports specialties. This one also has more information. The Pro. This one I am gonna clean right now. This one I am gonna have to end up washing. Sometimes my eyes are so good. Sometimes they're really good, sometimes not really. Now that I could see this with fresher eyes, you see those sweat marks right there? I am gonna have to hand wash this to get top dollar for it. So that will be washed up here in a moment. So I got maybe like four more hats to take photos of and then upload them on eBay. All of this stuff that I'm sharing with you, eBay material. I like to sell apparel hats and things like that on eBay. And then a hard good glass and home decor, things like that. I like to sell it on knickknacks. That didn't take long at all, which I'm excited about because I got more stuff I need to list, but not on eBay. I'm going to be listing it on knickknacks. And you can see what all that is now until the big day of Friday, Friday at 3.30. I think that's a pretty good time because that's Pacific time. And then that'll be more like 6.30 East Coast. And I think it captures a good group of people to different time zones. So if I have it too late, a lot of the East Coast people are sleepy and I don't want them sleepy bidding on stuff and waking up like, what the hell did I order from sunny Las Vegas this time? And then request for a return, which people don't do that. Um, I have had some issues on my end uh, knickknacks, eBay, whatnot, where things get broken along the way and I refund them right off the bat. But it's pretty good to make sure if you're sending valuable stuff to send a priority. And if not, if you're sending it as cheap as possible, advanced ground or AKA first class to still add on their insurance. So consider that. That has saved me a lot of time and effort of missing out on money where I send something priority, something happens, because things will happen eventually. I have sold thousands of items over the seven plus years of reselling that um, I don't regret adding insurance to things. Even if things, don't all go, even if things don't go wrong, I feel good about it just in case. So, so I have several hundred dollars worth of stuff listed right now. A lot of the hats were pretty good ones. Very few of them were like at $15, which I think it was uh, the Anaheim angels but the willie nelson one there's a t-shirt identical to that design by frank bros that sold for 70 dollars. so i have my hat listed at 74 dollars. there's two other people that have theirs listed up at 80 and and higher and i put mine under there so you can find some really good stuff at the bins regardless of his good war Salvation army
I am struggling to find shirts that fit me comfortably. I was trying to lose weight um, a couple of months ago and before that for who knows how long until I finally just said, why go against the grain? I'm just gonna work out. I know I'm gonna pack on weight. I lift pretty good. I'm pretty good at lifting weight. I have a really good, I guess, muscle memory slash old man strength. And before I was trying to get into um, size large and size XL. And now 2XL is, is where it's at for me. Um, so sometimes I guess what I'm saying is that the things that you're fighting against or the things you need to let go of and see if the other way works as in gaining weight, gaining strength rather than just trying to lose weight, dehydrating yourself, stressing yourself out. I have been bulking up just, and I eat just about the same, but the more I, I feel like I'm getting in shape or becoming a beast, the more I'm being more judgmental towards how much I eat. What I had earlier uh, eating with Carla, I didn't finish all of that. Just naturally, I'm like, I'm, I'm good, I'm done. And I feel thirsty more than anything. And I feel like I have a lot of water weight on me, but I know I have, whoo, I have a lot more muscle. Look, look, look at my chest, nice and round. Before it was more like a, a moob, like a, a man boob. And I hated it. That's why all my photos and videos are always like a profile photo, just right here and up. And now, like even my belly isn't like, how it used to be. For me, this is how it looked. And my back, my shoulders, they're good. I've been implementing more legs lately. And uh, I do I do want to slim down in the belly area because I, I still have a belly. When I wake up, I feel really good. I'm able to like uh, crunch up or sit up. I'm able to sit up without like ugh, ugh, tying my shoelaces. That was one where I hated it because I'll be grunting. I try to do it from the side and then I'll get like these stomach cramps. And I was like, this is so embarrassing. And now just by working out, being my regular self, a lot more vegetables, a lot more fruits. I know y'all got on me for that too. Like I feel really good, but I, I wanna do more than just feel good. I, I wanna apply it towards something. And I'm thinking I need to start getting back to running because I wanna start getting in maybe a marathon. I haven't been in a marathon of any sort since the military. And that has been probably a decade now. I got out in 2011, but I'm really happy. I'm, I'm really happy. With my gains, I'm not losing weight, I'm gaining weight, and it's working for me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about when I was thinking about losing weight. I was like, okay, if I lose weight, what am I losing weight for? It, it, where is it going? And I feel like gaining weight and working out the way that I am is going somewhere that's guiding me in a direction, and I, I think it's going to compete in something. I know just because I feel like amazing at the moment and happier every day, amazing strength-wise. I know there's people my age that are far beyond where I'm at, but it's impressive to come across them online or in person at the gym, and that be inspiring to me. Before I get to those boxes, I gotta bring up the things that I listed to get it out the way. Stay on top of things. Let's go open these up. All right, my friends. Whoa, that one's heavy. We got two packages here. Got some fan mail. And my my mailing address is in the description on this channel and my thrifting channel. This is from Claire Fuston. This is all the way from Tasmania, Australia. Australia? Australia. Australia. I have done some packaging and mailing off to Australia, Chile, Kuwait, um, some other places. Iraq was one that wasn't military, bubble wrapped. Ooh, can this be some art, folks? I could reuse this bubble wrap too. What is this? What is this? I have no idea what it is. I wasn't given any hints or warnings, but this is very sealed waterproofed on the inside so i don't want to just rip it and then it might be photos or something and we could ruin it so let's be careful with this oh it's inside another envelope all right and then i had a um a prize package i ended up mailing saturday when i asked in my thrifting video my thrifting channel in a community tab i asked didn't show anything inside. I just said, this was $40. How much do you think is worth? And one person got really close and I ended up making it into a prize giveaway. So I, I wanna do that again and again. That's my way of saying thank you to the community and have some fun other than just 
sharing content as videos, I like to use a community tab as well, but I love to give back and always will because the community have given me so much too. Oh, something just fell. Hold on. We got a letter in here and we have something in here. Sunny, Las Vegas. Can you let me know it arrives safely? Oh, I'm gonna make sure to email them, Claire. Claire, thank you so much for this. I like the inside of this. I like these little bitty touches, you know what I mean? Those little touches make a big difference. This is so thoughtful, so kind. Dear Sunny and family, please find and close the little graphic sketch of the much loved tip. Oh my goodness. I know that your vlogs give you much joy to people across the world, including me, where in Tasmania. I am new to art. Not so great, but it brings me joy. Keep on thrifting once again. Thanks for sharing your life. Claire, Tassie, and Swanee. I think those are the pets' names. So I'm going to let Tip know as well. Carla's downstairs talking to my mother in law. Claire, thank you so much. And to the fur babies as well and the family out there. Oh my goodness. Holy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Not so good. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at this, folks. Oh my goodness. That is lifelike. Those little legs, that's the way his legs are. Just like that. And she even got the tie. Wow, Claire. That is freaking good. That is freaking good. That is so good. Keep it up. That is amazing. So I have a degree in art. I'm a natural born artist. I really love this a lot. I love it a lot. It is signed and named tip right on the side. And it is dated right there. Signed and dated. That is freaking awesome. I need to frame this. I don't know if I have um, a frame this size, but it is. I think Carla might want this in a living room. Let's go get her their reaction. Hold on. This is freaking Nuts. Awesome. Wow. Tip. Tip. You want to see this? Look at it, Tip. Who's that? Who's that? Your, excuse me, your followers. Did y'all hear her? She said, where's my followers? How are my followers? Look there. Hello. Look, look at that. Oh, wow. That's so cool. This is from Claire out in Tasmania, Australia. How are you guys? Look, look we, got this. we got this from a fan. I missed that. Look, mommy, see it? Do you see it, mom? Somebody, yeah. somebody drew tip from yeah. Australia. Wow, so handsome, <laughs> Uh, Claire, she's out from Australia. Wow. Yeah, it's good, huh? Nice, yeah. Wow. You gotta put it in a frame. I know, that's what I was saying. I think it might go in, in the foyer. Look. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I, I think it's too good, Claire. I think he thinks we got another dog. We. This is you, boy. This is you. You like it? <laughs> I think he's in love with it. Look at him. He's all over it. <laughs> Are you happy? That's freaking awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. He approves. He loves this. I think the Mel, the trash people are late. He hears them outside. He thinks they're strangers. So he's, he's guarding the front. It's okay, boy. It's just a trash man. Yeah, we got to frame this. Claire, thank you so much. We got to go look for a frame later, which means maybe I could get your mom to go thrifting with me. Okay. Yeah. Who's a good boy? You a good boy? You good boy? All right. I gotta need to go. I need to go check the other box. You could hang out with your mom. That is freaking awesome. Yeah. Her, Carla's eyes are like, oh, whoa. And Claire, it's in your genes. It's in your DNA. That was freaking awesome. We're not done yet. I am so grateful for these gifts. They are blessings. And I've said it before that I've always felt like I wasn't worthy of anything. And that was my mindset in the past. And because I started changing the way that I think about myself and the things that I wanted for myself. And then marrying Carla, that changed everything. That changed my world. I wanted to be the man she deserved. Deserves. Time and time again. 
because we all fall down on days and some weeks are really hard, sometimes months. But the more you train your mind and rewire it to be thankful and grateful for the little things and just smile about stuff and know that you can make a difference for yourself, which also makes a difference for other people, it all comes back to you. Spark joy, receive joy. We have another package right here. Where's my little opener? I love this little thing right here. I need to find more. Today is Monday and at Savers, it is 50% off. So I haven't been going to Savers too much. Although some of my videos recently have been from Savers. I, I'm kind of going at random times. Oh, this is very well packed. Very well packed. Feels heavy. I know for sure there's one glass piece inside there and I was told get your black light ready. Here we go. Nice bubble wrap. I could use this. Especially when I have more glass cells. So I'm gonna leave it as so. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I love eBay. I just listed several hundred dollars worth of stuff on eBay earlier. Oh, look at this pretty thing. Look at that pretty glass. Nice crystal. You can tell the weight of crystal in regular glass. Is there any signatures? Oh, this might require a black light. I like the dimple ones here glass i bet this glows i bet that glows so there's one it is but this is from state saint picker we message each other quite often on on instagram along with a handful of other people not a lot like a handful maybe five people maybe it's like just amongst ourselves hey how are you doing checking in on one another i found this what did you find things like that like just small talk but it goes a long way i love that there's a lot in my community of people that I am very happy happy to come across and be a part of. This one looks like it had a little sticker on there. It looks like it has some color. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? Oh, whoa, 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 I see some color. Oh my goodness. State Saint Picker, wow, wow. Look at this right here, folks. Look at this, it has like a scallop top look at that beautiful confetti glitter on the inside this is a nice little type of trinket bowl it's almost like a triangle this is freaking beautiful and there's a sticker on the bottom genuine venetian glass made in murano italy folks wow we are blessed today with some gifts look at this you know what excites me about this um not just because it's glass we're gonna check that other one. I think that other one glows. But let me show you two things that I have, folks. This is a baby one, but this is, I would say this is probably my favorite one, even compared to the ones that I came across probably around six months ago now. Yeah, it's probably been around that long, maybe even longer. I've had them stashed away. Yeah, I think I've had them for about a year. I've had them stashed away and I just started showing them here recently. Um, let me show you what these are. That little beautiful Murano piece right here. This one has a sticker, right? And look at the bottom. You don't want to just look at the sticker. You want to look at the base of it right there, all right? Look at this one right here. See the base? This one's also Murano. And I paid $5.99 for this. Oh, and it has a sticker. So Goodwill Stickers has a, um, dates on there. So this was out April 22nd. 2023 so yeah it's it's been a year right the little dust on these i've had them in a garage put away for quite some time here's the flip side of this look at this beautiful beautiful piece right here it's kind of similar to this right here kind of beautiful black swirly colorful glass look at this one look at the bottom same thing this one's also murano different shape i love these pieces love these pieces Look at this swirl right there. All right, we are gonna need this right here. We are gonna need this, my black light. All right, and this is it. Let's go see if it glows. Let's put this here. Now let's turn this off. Oh, black light. Oh, look at that, folks. It has a glow. Look at that. That is a nice glow, mainly on the stem on up. That is beautiful. Wow, wow. <laughs> I love glass. 
How many of y'all love glass? Some of you are like, I don't care for glass, but I like looking at it. Either way, thank you all for joining me, folks. This has been a great day. I still have some things to work on today, get some more stuff listing, start taking photos for the next next auction on Friday and add as much stuff as possible because um, I have some glass I need to be selling. I got some stuff I need to be replacing here. Find some more amazing stuff and repeat the process of having a lot more fun as well. Make sure to like and subscribe. Y'all see me again soon.